When it rains, look for the rainbows. And when it's dark, look for the stars. Life is like an ocean. It could be calm and still, or rough and rigid. But in the end, it's always beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, today I want to share with you a perspective on life that has the power to change our experiences and shape our futures. Optimism. Life is a journey filled with ups and downs. And it depends on us to decide how we go about it. We can either focus on the negatives or seek out the positives even in the darkest of times. You know, optimism, it's not about thinking that everything is perfect or thinking that everything will be, we are getting a solution. It's about facing the challenge with full courage and finding the solutions. When we approach life with a positive attitude, we always find a way through. Okay, so now I want you all to think back to the first day of your school. How did you approach that moment? With negative thoughts and doubts? I don't think so. We sought blessings, we hoped for a successful journey, and we trusted ourselves. Right? This is because our mind, it's like a magnet. If you think of blessings, you attract blessings. And if you think of problems, you attract problems. It's basically our attitude towards life that determines life attitude towards us. Okay, I want you all to recall the time of the pandemic. When it first started, we were filled with fear and panic. We don't know what to do. We had to adjust by sitting at home and wearing the masks and all. But we didn't lose the hope that one day this all would pass. And look at us today. We all are here together declaring the end of pandemic. Isn't this the greatest example of our belief and optimism that played a very important role in manifesting the positive outcomes? And now to all my Bollywood fans over here, I think we all must have watched the movie Three Idiots, right? And we might recall the dialogue that goes like, all is well. Did it disappear the problems? Was it a magic? No, right? But it helped them to continue to find a way out. We must be realistic enough to know that things won't go our way. But being optimistic, we'll always find a way. And taking one last example, that would be before coming on the stage, we all are a little nervous, right? But we likely have a self-talk affirming ourselves that I will confidently express myself. This is because optimistic people, they focus on the rose, while the pessimists, they focus on the thorns. It has been proven by studies that the pessimists, they have more health problems than the positive people. And I think over here, we all have that self-love quality in us. So we wouldn't want anything bad to happen to us, right? So that's why now we know how it plays a very important role in maintaining our well-being as well. So to cultivate optimism in yourself, here are a few points that I would like to share with you all. The first one, think that good things would happen. Your thoughts have the power, so just fill them with positivity. Second, surround yourself with positive people. The company you keep often determines your behavior. Third, speak in a more positive tone. Even if it doesn't come naturally, just fake it till you make it. Fourth, maintain a gratitude journal. Write down what you have rather than what you lack. And last but not the least, don't dwell on the past. Embrace the present and make the most of it. We should know that optimism is not something we inherit. It's something we learn throughout our journey with our experiences. And optimism is not a one-day thing to learn. But you know what? We could make this today the day one. Why not make optimism a part of our lives? You know, there are so many negative people in the world. So why not be different and spread positivity? 
Let's choose to see the rainbows when it rains and the stars when it's dark. And one thing that I'd really want you all to take away from my talk today would be keep your face towards the sunshine and you'll never see a shadow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you.